salty. This is good, babe. by the selection we really wanted breakfast but it's noon and they stopped serving at 11 so I just got rotisserie chicken and double sweet potato but I think I'm thinking of bringing a good amount of my sweet potatoes home and we're gonna go get some mini donuts just one mini donut since this place kind of blows <laughs> um, Brian is giving me the stink eye but so we're gonna wait for our food Chicken and sweet potatoes. If I didn't pay, I'd still walk out right now. Boring food. So that's why we're doing donuts before the beach. So I might look a little bloated for the beach, but it's gonna be worth it. Peace love, and, peace, love, and donuts. We got three mini donuts each. I just had chicken at the last place, chicken breast. It was so terrible. Places like that that call themselves healthy give healthy a bad name because they don't add flavor to their meals. It was the driest, most flavorless chicken and sweet potatoes I've ever had in my life. So, 
ate the chicken, save the carbs for these babies. This is cookie dough, this is Samoa, and this is salted caramel macchiato. And then babe, what did you get? I got cookies and cream, Nestle crunch, and maple bacon. I always get maple bacon, that's like my favorite shit ever. But mini ones can't be that bad. I'm gonna start with the salted caramel. I start with like the least exciting. How was yours? What was that Nestle crunch? Mm -hmm. I guess when you're the opposite, I like them a little less cakey. Mm. These are perfect for me. These are so good. Better than that place in Tampa. Oh, hell yeah. Because yeah, they're cake. Oh, yeah. I don't know, I almost have that one, but. Yeah. All right. Tastes like an Oreo for real. That's love. Okay, right. It was so close to getting that one. Samoa, best for last, my favorite. Oh really? Yep, love Samoa. Oh my god. We're okay. gonna look great at the beach. We're gonna look so good and fit at the beach. Last. Last day, last night in Naples. Oh, it's too hot to do my hair. So, real human curls in full effect. Feeling this red lip, I don't know. Well, tonight we're going to uh -huh. Hob nah. We had so much fun last night. I need to like, I mean, I didn't bring a purse. And I didn't bring my camera last night because it was like a nice seafood restaurant. And bringing my camera, I'm just like, eh, I'll leave it at home. But we had a freaking blast. My Insta story, I was crying, hysterically laughing. If you guys don't watch my Instagram stories, you totally should. Because I think they're a blast. But we're going, we were gonna go to Marco Island. Ow! We were gonna go to Marco Island and get some seafood at like this nice restaurant. Sorry about this. But we're just feeling like being more cash and hitting up like a, a fun hip. We're like foodies who love like gastro pubs and different type of food. So we're hitting up this eclectic restaurant and I told Ryan that's what it said it's an eclectic restaurant yeah. and he goes oh so that means we don't eat with our hands I thought you said Ethiopian and I know what Ethiopian he didn't think I said it's Ethiopian somewhere. he heard eclectic but that's okay I'm gonna I'm gonna let it slide I confuse the two I've had moments like that we all do but Babe has a hard time with her left and right so maybe we should shut ease up. it off a little shut up but today, I didn't bring my camera a lot. You saw my workout. Um, we went to this like organic food mart that sucked. Ugh. I just had the chicken and then I, I have the sweet potatoes in the fridge, which I'll probably have like tomorrow on the drive home. But then we got some donuts, mini donuts, which you saw. And honestly guys, like I, ha I still have a hard time letting myself go and like enjoying the moment because I come from a past of overdoing it so I get scared to get little and like I had three mini donuts which were probably I would say equated to like a normal size cake donut like one they were tiny um and after the third one I wanted more it took everything in me to not look at Brian and say can we go get more but I didn't and I'm still full and that was, I don't even know, like 1.30. So I really haven't had much to eat today. I had my pre-workout breakfast, which we made here, which I suck and didn't show you. I showed Insta story. I'm getting, I'm getting used to this YouTube thing. 
Um, so I had that. I just, my breakfast was like a little egg McMuffin homemade. I bought English muffins, had egg whites, had one slice of Velveeta cheese, and then Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumble. Um, and I had two of those, two egg sandwiches, which was totally fine because my macros are very high right now. Had some rotisserie chicken breast. I tried to eat, I don't even think I got three ounces to be honest. It was terrible, it was so dry. And then I had the three mini donuts and I've been chugging water all day. So, you know, I feel fine. I'm, oh my God, my hair. I struggle with letting go and dwelling on bad foods that I ate, but my macros are high enough. And I, I will not, I don't think today, even hit my carb macros. My carbs are at a little bit over 300 grams and I don't think I'm gonna hit that. I probably will go over in fat just because we're going out to eat and I don't know how they're preparing everything. Um, but I'm gonna be under my carbs and if I go over my fat, it's really calories in versus calories out is the like the grand scheme of things. So I'm just not gonna worry. My calories every day are at 2,400. So I'm thinking I'll, I'm gonna be around there today. I don't care. I'm, we're gonna go to a nice restaurant again. It's like a more chill place, but um, I looked at the menu. I always look at the menu ahead of time and I love seafood and that's really what I'm just gonna stick to. They had little ahi tuna nachos, which was just, you know, raw tuna and pot like a little wonton or something. And then there was an octopus appetizer that I really wanted to get, so we'll probably get that. Um, and then there was a sea bass on the menu that looked delicious and got great reviews on Yelp, so I'll probably just stick to the sea bass. It's not, I think it comes with butternut squash, so it's not even like gonna be a carb heavy. So, I'm good. I am gonna be, and then tomorrow's legs. I just have to like pep talk myself, but honestly, when you guys go away, just be mindful like I am being. I am drinking water, I had a very clean breakfast. I did have three little mini donuts, but that's okay, and then I'm gonna go out to dinner and stick to whole foods, very clean seafood. It's gonna be good. And then tomorrow I'm gonna kill legs. We're gonna skip our usual sushi day since we're kind of doing our thing this weekend. And um, we're gonna hit legs here in Naples and then go home to meal prep. But I'll show you what I'm wearing. It's a mess in here because we're savages. I'll give you a little physique update too if I can. Really casual. Brian might come in the door, so. Um, just a tank, pair of shorts, right now. Still have abs. We're good, we're good fam. Enjoy life, don't overdo it. And also alcohol. I had two glasses of wine last night. I was gonna stick with one. But when I tell you, I used to be a waitress at a fine dining restaurant. Um, I met Brian at TGI Fridays where I was a waitress, so I'm very familiar with like the proper pour for a wine glass. And the first glass of wine I got was probably half of a real glass of wine. So I got a second and that was an actual legit glass of wine. So I'm honestly gonna say I had a glass and a half because the first glass was so small. And, um, I usually count that towards my carbs, and my carbs are super high right now, so I'm probably not even hitting them these past two days. So I'm probably gonna have another glass of wine tonight because I'm enjoying this little weekend with my husband, but old me used to get glasses of wine until I was drunk at the restaurant. And it was very hard for me to stop. I was not an alcoholic by any means, but I have a little bit of an addictive personality when it comes to that buzzy feeling and I want it to keep going and I don't want it to end. And last night I stopped at my second glass of wine and Brian and I had the best time. It was just like 
we were just, we had the best time. And you don't have to overdo it with alcohol. I used to, and a lot of alcohol would make me like just be angry and mean and it did not have a good effect on me at all. So I'm just really enjoying fighting my urges right now to go into my bad habits because I'm winning. I am in control and I am telling myself, no, you're good. And then like, I feel so great. Today I woke up at 7.30, I never do that. I have breakfast, I had all this energy, I didn't feel like shit. Old me would have skipped the gym, woke up, felt like shit. I would have been like, screw making breakfast, let's go out to brunch. It would have been a whole day of just shitty, choices and I feel awesome I'm not gonna regret my dinner tonight I'm so excited to just order what the fuck I want coming just this, this whole like balanced lifestyle it feels good I don't have a show coming up I will next year and that's when I'm gonna be even more annoying than I am now I am way more strict right now than I have to be so sorry this was like a little what is it nine minute talk but Whatever. We're gonna probably go soon. Walk around the little Fifth Ave, that's what it's called, of Naples. It has like little shops and restaurants, I'm assuming, I think. I, we're hoping. It just rained, so hopefully it'll cool down because it has been hot as hell. I can't even straighten or blow dry my hair, so this is all everyone gets. But don't have a purse. Not gonna bring my camera along. Just living in the moment. And um, if you don't follow me on Instagram or watch my Insta stories, you're missing out because they're hysterical. So catch me on Instagram. We're watching the Mets game. My boys, my Mets, New York Mets. They're up three to zero. But I'm gonna get on out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll vlog some of my leg day maybe. I don't know. Hey guys, we are home from Naples. It was such a fun trip, such a good time to just get away for a small little weekend. But I just wanted to give you guys some tips for when you come back from a vacation or a little weekend getaway, what to do and what not to do just to get your body back on its routine. I would say number one thing to not do is get on the scale. Don't get on the scale, it will be up. Even if you went out to eat and tried to track everything, most likely your weight will be up because of the sodium and just like the extra fat that restaurants use to cook with. So traveling in general also makes you hold on to water, your body hold on to water. So you're gonna be bloated. The scale will be up. It's not fat gain. Don't worry. Just don't even bother your mind with that number. So don't get on the scale number two most important thing to do or i guess number one most important thing that i want you to do is water drink so much water like just carry a gallon with you try to get through a gallon and a half if you can pretty much the whole week when you get back because you just wanna flush everything out. Most likely when you're away on a vacation, you don't drink enough water when you're on vacation because you're on vacation. You're enjoying yourself. You don't have your gallon with you at all times or you just don't take those little 10 gulp breaks that you normally do when you're in your routine. So to get your water back, to just lean out, just to flush everything out, flush all those toxins, everything, drink water another thing stick to either your macros your normal macros if you do track if you do not track your macros just eat like you normally do if your normal diet is shitty then maybe you should clean it up a little bit <laughs> but if for the most part you are a healthy person and watch what you eat don't cut calories don't do that. You want your metabolism to be sped, to be fed. You want it to be working. And when you stop eating or eat under, under eating will slow your metabolism. That is not what we want. We want it to be fast to burn all the food that we ate on vacation. So just go about your eating as normal the rest, you know, the next week going forward. Get an awesome workout in. Use the 
the food that you ate to your advantage and go to the gym and get a kick-ass workout in maybe wear a sweatshirt so you can i mean when i sweat like a beast during my workouts that's when i feel like i've had the best workout so maybe wear a sweatshirt while you lift do legs the day you get back or the day after you get back and just kill your workouts you're gonna have some some energy because of all the you know the food that you were eating on vacation even if you didn't go completely overboard you still probably enjoyed things that you don't normally do so put that to good use in the gym if your gym has a sauna hit that sauna up maybe like 15 to 20 minutes after every couple workouts you don't need to go to the sauna every single day but like i said sweating just makes you feel good and cardio maybe throw in an extra day of cardio or a couple extra intervals in your high intensity interval training in your sprints just be more active that next week so that when you do step on the scale a week after vacation you're just back to normal that's my tips i hope you guys enjoyed the workout enjoyed the vlog um give me a thumbs up if you liked it if you enjoyed the workout it was a really good one and um, i'm not used to doing vlogs that don't entail cooking so this was new for me to just like take my camera around and show you guys my life I don't know if you like it, if you're interested in it. I'm a new YouTuber, I don't know. Comment below what you like. I promise I'll bring a recipe for you the next time I pick up my camera. So I will see you guys next time. Love ya.